Hey everyone, so today I'm here in Petrolia, Ontario. I'm here, I'm going to be replacing, fixing up some caches that I have, checking on some, and I'm uh, putting out an adventure lab here, hopefully. And I'm going to put out a bonus cache for it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little tour of the town, make sure all the answers make sense for the questions I'm going to put out. And yeah, then I'm going to go down further south, um, hopefully do a little stuff for a few caches on the way, and uh, yeah, that'll be, pretty much most of the day we'll be driving, so, but this is a nice little stop, so I'm gonna have some lunch, and do my tour, so let's take a look. This is Victoria Hall. Petrolia Cenotaph, memorializing who's fought in World War One, World War Two, Korea. So there we have the United Church, built in 1899. If you notice at the top there, the two towers are different. One of them actually fell off. I think it was the well-off one that fell off, and then they tried to take the right off to match it or something. Kind of interesting. And over here we have the remains of an old uh, oil well. It's pretty cool. We're gonna head across the street. Coming up on the right here is the old post office and customs office. Pretty cool area. Very old building. Here we have the old Grand Trunk Railway Station. Now a library. Beautiful old building. It's so just a little update. I've just finished a little series of uh, highly favorited caches. I'm not going to really show many of them. I'm going to show one because that was kind of a cool container. Uh, most of them are kind of jokey, so I don't want to spoil those for anyone, but uh, they're well worth doing. Um, so, my issue has been lately that I have zero service here in this area. So, I have been working on... Uh, so now I'm going to work my way to the last cache that I really need to repair. And uh, the only problem is I don't have any map so I'm just gonna hop between caches and we'll see how it goes that way. But yeah, kind of annoying to have no service in an area where I should basically. Alright, that's my update. Look at this one. This is a Robin Hood themed cache. That's pretty cool. Huh, good one. So this is a little town I stumbled upon here, North Buxton. This is the Buxton National Historic Site and Museum here. This is part of the Underground Railroad. Terminus of the Underground Railroad here. So, so the museum's obviously closed. Oh, this little bell here. Let's go take a look. There's a cache in this area, so I'm going to go grab the cache. This is pretty cool. Centennial back there. Pittsburgh. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting area. 
I think I saw some plaques over in front of this building over here, so I think this is the church. Let's see who made this statue here. It's very interesting. If only trees could talk. Very interesting. It's a beautiful area here. A little park back here. This area for some like reunions and stuff, barbecues. You go check out back over here first. Cash hasn't been found in over a year, so. This is actually the town, what the town looked like originally, with all the houses along the road here. This is the church here. Oh, this is the plan. Oh, this is the ideal plan. I see. So that would have been Main Street down here. Eighteen sixty one, so this is actually the school. Number thirteen. Here at this side of the chapel. And then there's a cemetery over here. And I think that's an old church there actually. That could be the church. Yeah, that's probably the church. Find the cash. Just a little peek inside the building here. You can see kind of the desks and stuff. You know, the wooden stove heater. This one. Pretty cool that they've uh, kept this. That's a pretty expensive area back here basketball court, baseball field. Cemetery over here. Okay, we're here now. Let's go see if we can find it. It's a little of a road. Something down there. Something blue. Could be the cash. To position now. Looks like just a bag, maybe. Could be the cash. Oh, nope. I think I see it here. Yes. She's in good condition. Woohoo! That's an old, that's a lonely one. Um, something I've just noticed is that these might be original buildings to the area. 
is they have kind of like a log cabin structure almost. So I'm going to do a wide turn. I could go that way to the car, but I'm going to do a wide turn around the building here. Try to get a closer look at these. That's weird. What is that? It's like a little carousel or a ferris wheel. Yeah, so this definitely seems like it's original fifth location. Oh. Trespassing or anything. That's interesting. I don't know if that's for like a Christmas display or something. Or maybe fair. Look like that, that's a little wood, wood, uh, wood cutter there. That's pretty cool. Right there. That's for cigarette butts. Henderson Cabin, Colbert Henderson Cabin. Built was first built by it was built by its first owner Henry Colbert, who came to Buxton in 1850. The cabin was sold and inhabited to successive families until 1986. The cabin was donated to the Buxton Horkle Society by its last owners Robert and Marjorie Pratt. And Ethel Henderson and has been restored with financial assistance. Wow, and you can see there's like a little little uh, loom in there. Really cool. Okay, let's go on the road. So this is kind of exciting. This plaque was not here before. There's actually a little parking lot here, as you can see, for this plaque. And I was missing before, someone stole it. So I want to see what this says. Very interesting. I think it's a. Uh, I'm going to guess that might have been. Might have been a residential school, but I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research. So another interesting cemetery here. Uh, what's it called? Trin Trinity Cemetery. Trinity Church. There's a little sort plaque here. Archibald Lampman. Patience, they shall come, make it Beautiful area here. You can see some storm clouds off in the distance there. But they're pretty much moving away. Let's check out what this little building is here. That whole lot in there. It's a little old stove there. Chairs and stuff. We'll go around this way. This is a nice old cemetery here. Um, I did see a nice open uh, sculpture over here, so let's check that out. Church. Beautiful red brick church. Here. 
beautiful sculpture. Wow. Y W O R T. That's kind of interesting. He never seen to have a, kind of an older style sheep on a newer, newer grave like that. These old graves. Too bad here. There's no. There's a breeze. If you look right there. You can see see the lake. Just out, on the, out beyond. Not a bad spot. Another old cemetery here. Really nice. This one's just straight up called Pioneer Cemetery. Some interesting stones over there. We're gonna look at it in a plaque. I came up the wrong way. I came up through like the old entrance. Oh, bunny rabbits. Okay, let's take a look at the cemetery. A lot of beautiful graves here. This one. Sad that it's kind of falling apart, unfortunately. Some more of that stuff right here. Caledonia State. You know, that's Caledonia, Ontario. Never know. Looks like he was a Mason. Mason Sonic Star there. Like this one. Got this one, this one's pretty neat. Some markers there. Fascinating. Okay, so quick status update. Wayne's definitely closing in, had a few drops, but this just popped up. I had another cache in town here that I was going to go for, and I, the CO archived it, 
said he had a new cache, so I like, oh, I wonder what his new cache is. Turns out no one's found it yet. So we're going to see if it is a clean log. Let's see if we can find it first. <laughs> Could be a tough find. And the log is indeed clean. FTF. I don't believe it. And that's going to finish the day because I'm going to go get something to eat and drink before the rain comes and head home because it's pretty late already. But wow, well, that's an awesome way to finish the day. I did not ex I did not see a T FTF. I did not even think to look. I actually could have had an FTF leaving home today, but I just, I was too late. So to get one now is pretty good. It feels pretty good. Just to get you an idea of what the rain's like here. It's going to be coming. That's for sure.